We're live. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Traveling with Bruce. It is Thursday night prime time trivia. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. I uh, hope you're doing okay. Hope everyone is safe tonight. Staying inside, uh, staying dry, staying out of hurricanes, staying warm, uh, staying cool if you're hot. I uh, hope all is good out there. Welcome to all my friends around the world who are here watching Traveling with Bruce live, primetime Thursday night trivia. Unbelievable. Um, what a day today. Uh, today being a September uh, 8th, is it, what's it day? Is it 13th? Yeah, 13th, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. September 13th. Oh, my goodness. I, I have an incredible short term memory. Uh, yeah, September 13th today, the day that uh, Hurricane Florence is hitting the uh, shores of South Carolina, North Carolina. Uh, this is going to disrupt all kinds of, uh, of centers. I have a feeling that uh, Atlanta Hartsfield might be in a bit of uh, trouble in the next couple of days once this hurricane kind of moves ashore and turns into a tropical storm and the rainfall will reach Atlanta. If too much rain falls too fast, uh, we get crazy winds. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. I'm sure small municipal airports will be affected all over the south. We'll have to watch for that. Uh, but anyway, uh, there you go. On the cruise front, uh, we're watching the Port of Charleston. They shut her down today. The Coast Guard has shut down the Port of Charleston. That means the container port and the cruise port. Nobody in, nobody out um, until at least uh, Sunday morning. Sunday morning, the Carnival Ecstasy is supposed to return to Charleston from its current six-day Caribbean cruise. Uh, the ship with, uh, with crew can hold almost 3,000 passengers. Um, I'm not sure if the ship will make it. Um, the ship, you know, ship itself is fine, but um, the Coast Guard may not open the port by Sunday morning as scheduled, and uh, Carnival will have to decide what to do next. Uh, where will the passengers go? What will they do with the ship? What about the passengers who want to get on the ship? Um, can they even get to Charleston on Sunday at all? I know that a lot of folks are going to want to get to Charleston the day before uh, and be ready to board the ship the next morning. But uh, if the port is closed and uh, Charleston is flooded, uh, we'll have to see how bad this is going to be. Anyway, the storm looks terrible. Uh, it is hitting today, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep monitoring it and uh, see what happens. Anyway, I did a video today about that story. I hope you saw it. And uh, if any of you can share it on your Facebook pages uh, to friends, that would be tremendous. I would really appreciate that. I want to thank all of you out there who've been helping me already share my videos through Facebook, uh, through your, your friends out there. I really appreciate it. It's helping the channel get more exposure. And uh, the subscriber count continues to, uh, to go up. Uh, we're now at the 3,110 subscribers unbelievable growth i'm really excited about that um this being uh, what is it now september 13th on august the 25th just to give you an idea we we're at 2581 subscribers right now i'm at 3110 so 600 in a couple of weeks three weeks or so uh, that's a 20 percent growth rate on this channel that is really coming on the last few days thank you everybody for uh, coming on board those of you who are new uh, if you've never been here before, this is Trivia Night. Uh, we have fun here Tuesday nights and Thursday nights, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, I rattle off some trivia questions. Easy peasy. Uh, what you do is you enter, uh, you just you just give me an answer on, on your computer or your phone. Uh, one guess per text. Uh, so if you have like three or four answers in mind, just send three or so in a row. Uh, and I will uh, rattle off the, uh, knock off the correct answers and uh, once we get towards the end of the quiz, if it starts slowing down, I'll throw out some hints to help you guys out. But I like to come up with some interesting quizzes from time to time. Hopefully, you'll find them enjoyable, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. A bunch of you folks are already here. 33 of you are already lined up. This is fantastic. I'll just say hi to who's here right now. Tom Henry, Blaine, Crazy Rich Guys are here, and Jordan. Uh, who else is here? Uh, of course, Tom Henry, uh, Blaine. Uh, let's see who else has come in here. As I scroll up the list, I can't read all these comments. They're just coming in too fast, too hot and heavy, which is fantastic. Um, Paul Wilson is here. Hi, Paul. How you doing? Robert Brandt is here again. Uh, the twins are here. One of the two twins is here. Debbie Manuel is here. Hi, Debbie. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, we got Brittany here for a bit. Uh, thank you, Brittany, for joining in. Um, let's, let's go through here some more. Uh, 
see if I catch up with any other names that kind of come up here, pop through. Jim, Jim Hand is here. Hi, Bruce from Ohio. Jim, how are you? You must be a newbie. Uh, welcome uh, to the show. Welcome to the uh, trivia night. Uh, I hope you're a new subscriber. hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I hope you have fun with us tonight. Uh, DNS World Travel, they're here for trivia. Guys, how's it going? I believe they're in Seattle. Welcome, buddies. How you doing tonight? Uh, Kat is here. Gregory is here from D&G Explorers, another YouTube channel. Gregory, how you doing, pal? Uh, welcome to uh, welcome to uh, Thursday Night Primetime Trivia. I, I just get a kick out of you guys being here. David is here. David um, Pluff, Pluffcon. I'm trying to pronounce that correct, Dave. Uh, welcome, David. Hello from Pennsylvania, he's saying. Welcome, pal. Uh, hopefully, uh, you're not getting an effect yet. I don't think you're being affected right now about the hurricane, but the next few days, we'll keep an eye on it, see how it affects you if you get a lot of rain. Uh, Kenrick uh, is here. Kenrick Seeley is here. Hi from Barbados. Kenrick, how are you? How are you doing? Um, the storm, uh, you know, the former Hurricane Isaac, now Tropical Storm Isaac, passed by, uh, I think, north of you guys. I hope you're doing all right. I uh, hope you survived okay. You're on the, you're on my show, so that's a good sign. The internet is working. So uh, welcome to uh, welcome to Thursday Night uh, Trivia. I'm glad you're here. That's fantastic. Uh, crazy rich guys. The president says hurricanes are wet, so we learned something new. <laughs> Funny, I, I'm going to have this. I'm going to go to the same university he went to. I hope I get learned a lot better than he did. <laughs> crazy rich guys, you get me into trouble. We can't go to politics here. Oh my gosh, too much fun. Tracy Dunlop is here. Hi, Tracy. Carla Miller. Hi there, uh, Carla. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Sylvia is here. My daughter's coming to Greensboro. Uh, the place she was staying ha at had a vicious dog with a muzzle. She left Wilmington on Tuesday. Good thing she got out of Wilmington. And uh, I'm glad she's coming to you at your house. That's fantastic. Sylvan is here. Trivia. Yay. Welcome, Sylvia. I'm, I'm glad you're back. Um, Sylvan Forrest is here. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, <laughs> too many comments. Lots of fun. Uh, Rob Sauter, hello, Robert Brent. I bet you get lots of new Caribbean subscribers. Actually, I have picked up a lot of new Caribbean subscribers. I love my Caribbean friends out there. I used to live in the Cayman Islands. I know what it's like when a hurricane's coming to town. Everything gets boarded up. Man, it gets crazy. Uh, welcome, guys. And I'm glad that Isaac came down to a tropical storm. Hopefully, it hasn't caused too much problems out there. We'll keep an eye on things and uh we'll see how it's going all right everybody seems uh, to be here i'm just thrilled 36 of you fantastic let's play some trivia thanks again to all of you just uh thanks uh, a word of thanks to all of you for watching tolerating my commercials because that's how i get paid thank you for picking up merchandise like this traveling with bruce t-shirts coffee mugs uh um tote bags wall clocks if you get a chance Go to my homepage. go up either here or here you'll find the red bubble icon little red button Check out the merchandise that I've got. You think you, you like you like something that looks good to you? Pick it up. Anything you buy in Redbubble, I get a commission out of there. That helps support me. This is my full time job. This is all I do, folks. I don't have a day job. This is it. And then thank you for going to Amazon. You can go to Amazon.com. There's a link below here in the description of my channel, and it's an affiliate link. If you pick up something on Amazon uh, after you hit that link. I get a, a finder's fee from Amazon, and that keeps me on the air, too. And then thank you to uh, those of you out there who make donations to this channel. I cannot emphasize how important that is to us. Uh, ben, <laughs> Jennifer and I get us, uh, are so appreciative. Uh, thank you for those of you who make a, a cash contribution through Super Chat when I'm on the air. That's great. Uh, but I really appreciate when we get PayPal donations because... 94 to 96% of whatever comes in there comes right to us. Uh, the fee is very small to process it, and it's available within five minutes. It's incredible. Thank you very much. You can make a donation to our channel 24-7, anytime you want. If you get the urge to send Bruce a couple of bucks, thank you. It keeps me going. But enough of that. Let's play some trivia. We're having some fun here. I've got the first one going right here. I want to know raspberries. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what raspberries. Uh, what countries grow the most raspberries in the world? Uh, I got the top 10 right here. Fire away, you guys. Tell me what you think. Uh, and Jordan is having fun. AC Super Sport is here. Dream Cruises will keel laid on their global class ships. Fantastic stuff. Um, uh, Brittany saying, Bruce, you're awesome. I enjoy your shows. Uh, Brittany, you're awesome too. Thank you for coming by every day. Uh, Tracy, is it dark already in Creston, Bruce? Just about. It's very cloudy, rainy here tonight. Uh, quite a bit of rain. Here come the first guesses right now. Uh, Tracy, 
and Jordan, Paul, Robert, and uh, Robert, all say in the United States of America is where you get raspberries from. Well, USA is in the top 10. Number four country is the United States of America, but not number one, believe it or not. Uh, and Jordan is thinking about the United Kingdom. Uh, yeah, not, United Kingdom looks like it's, uh, looks like it was seventh or so, uh, top 10 country. Blaine 2007 is guessing Chile. Uh, nope, Chile is not on that list. Uh, Tracy Dunlap is thinking Sweden. Tracy, uh, nope, Sweden is not on the list either. Paul Wilgus, what about Germany, Bruce? Is Germany a raspberry producer? Nope, not in the top 10. Anyway, I'm sure they do grow raspberries in Germany, but they're not a top 10. DNS World Travel, Canada. What about those Canadians? Those Canadians love raspberries up there. Don't they grow a bunch? Number 10 on the list. We just made the top 10. Canada grows raspberries up here. Uh, Cat Chat Fever is here. I, I forgot the time difference. <laughs> Eight o'clock Eastern. Yeah, you got to think. Where am I? What am I? Welcome, Cat Chat Fever. I'm glad you're here. We're guessing uh, what countries grow the most strawberries. All right. And Jordan says Canada as well. So does Cat Rose. You're all right. All correct on that one. Blaine, he's thinking Russia. What about Russia, Bruce? Uh, the Russians growing raspberries. Number two country in the world for raspberry production. Tracy had Germany. We don't have Germany in the top ten. Crazy rich guys. China. What about China, Bruce? Nope. They're not in the top ten at all uh, for raspberry production. Uh, Paul is going with Canada. Paul Wilson also going. We have Paul Wilgus and Paul Wilson here. Uh, Canada and the USA, we have them already. Blaine, 2007. What about Poland? Does Poland grow raspberries? Yes. Number three country in the world is Poland for raspberry production, just ahead of the United States. How about that? Crazy Rich Guy Travels. India is the guess. No, nope, India not in the top 10. Tracy Dunlop is thinking Norway. Norway? Nope, Norway's not there. Uh, Poland, we've got AC. A crazy rich guy travels thinking Brazil. Big country, lots of people. Not known for growing strawberries. How about that? Uh, DNS World Travels, England. We got the UK already. AC is going Poland, Poland, Poland three times in a row. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, uh, England. Crazy rich guys, Ras Raspatopia. You know, the country known for raspberry production, Raspatopia. Uh, you got to love that place. Uh, Nice guess. Uh, Sylvain Forrest, France. What about France? Do they, uh, do they grow uh, raspberries? The French? They use them in their cooking. You know, I mean, they love using raspberries for, for some of these exotic dishes in France. But you know what? France is not a top 10 of the world raspberry grower. Crazy Rich Guy says Canada. Brittany had USA. Brittany, had, Brittany also had Canada. We've already had these guesses. Germany's coming in, in, coming in again. Cool Jazz, the Philippines. Nope, not the Philippines. Uh, Russia, we have Robert Brandt, the old standby. Let's go back to the Vatican. If the steamer isn't here, I'm guessing the Vatican. Uh, nice try there. And Jordan, uh, what about Australia? Australia for raspberry growing. Nope, it's not in the top 10. Tom Henry's thinking, okay, New Zealand. How about the neighbor over there? The neighbor off the, sh off the coast. Nope, not New Zealand either. Uh, Paul Wilson is thinking Mexico. What about Mexico, Bruce? Yes, sir. Mexico was in there. Number six in the world is Mexico. Uh, and Jordan saying, morning, Robert. Uh, cat chat fever, laugh out loud. Thank you. Uh, Blaine, uh, Mexico. Uh, we've already got him in here. Uh, Brittany, New Zealand. We have it. Ireland from Brittany. What about Ireland, Bruce? Do they grow raspberries in Ireland? Top 10? No, not Ireland. No, not Brittany. Uh, Serbia. Blaine is thinking about Serbia. Yeah, number five in the world is Serbia. Robert Brandt, uh, Australia. We've tried. Brittany Lockwood is going with Italy. Nope, not Italy. Uh, Chile from uh, Tom Henry. What about Chile? Uh, nope. Uh, let me see who's left here. I've got one, two, three. I have three countries left. Two in Europe and one in Asia. That's what I've got. Uh, Chile, Australia, China, Ukraine. Hungary is being guessed here. Ukraine is correct. Right behind Serbia. I have two left. One in Europe, one in Asia. Uh, Hungary, no. Uh, Spain is being guessed. Yes, that is the European country. Number eight, I think that is. I have one left in Asia, and it's kind of a hard country to spell. Starts with an A. Big hint for you guys. So it's not uh, <laughs> it's not New Jersey. <laughs> Sorry, cat. <laughs> New Jersey. No, can't do that. Japan, Belgium, Turkey, Singapore, South Korea, Chile, Spain, Ukraine, Argentina, Chile, Indonesia. I get all my raspberries from Serbia, Robert says. Switzerland, Netherlands, China, Philippines, uh, Costco. I get them from Costco, says Cool Jazz. Uh, welcome, Cool Jazz from New York. Uh, Singapore, Netherlands, Cuba. 
there's a new guest. No, Japan, Morning Cool Jazz ends. They're saying Thailand, Costco, laugh out loud. Nicaragua, South Korea, Azerbaijan, Robert Brandt, you got it. Azerbaijan is one of the uh, top 10 producers of raspberries in the world. Uh, this quiz is done. Cool Jazz, good morning. And Jordan, how are you? And uh, DR, uh, uh, Gregory's going to Argentina, and Brittany went with the Cambodia. We got this quiz done. Here are the top 10 producers of raspberries in the world. It is Russia, Poland, USA, Serbia, Ukraine, Mexico, the United Kingdom, Spain, Azerbaijan, and Canada. Well, how about that? Da da Donna McMankin and Sorry Man Lake. Donna, you only missed one quiz. We're getting ready for some more. Having all kinds of fun here. Uh, let's see what we can come up with here on my little list. Um, okay, um, let's take a look at all these quizzes. I just want to say, oh, I got some quickies. I got some quick tens for you guys. I love these quick these quick tens. Let's see how you guys do with these guys. Uh, you know, this is this is uh, uh, basically American cities. Uh, but those of you who are not in America, you'll know a lot of these cities. So don't don't feel like you can't play this quiz. Don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. Um, <laughs> I bet they need to be handpicked, Robert is saying. I think you're right. I think raspberries do need to be handpicked because they're gentle little things. All righty, here we go. Quick tense. Um, tell me the 10 biggest cities, the 10 biggest cities in Texas. How about the 10 biggest cities in Texas? Fire away with your favorite big cities in Texas. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, AC Super Sports, thinking about cruise trivia. I got something coming. I got something coming on cruise trivia. Just, just hang in there. All right. Um, Tom Henry, Richmond, Virginia. Thank you, Tom. That's where you're from. Robert Brandt. Well, what about Houston? Yeah, Houston's number one city in Texas. That's the biggest. Uh, Donna, uh, Dallas, Robert, Dallas, Debbie, Dallas, uh, Tracy, Dallas, DNS, Dallas, AC Super Sport, Dallas, Ed Tolleson, David, Dallas, Dallas. Who else is guessing Dallas? Come on, bring it, bring it. Okay, you're all right. Uh, number three city is Dallas. <laughs> well done. Uh, Houston and Dallas are definitely the number one and number two city after that. And Jordan has Austin, Texas. The capital, number four city is Austin. San Antonio from Robert Brandt, number two city is San Antonio. But you didn't know that. Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, Austin. Those are the four biggest cities in Texas in order uh, San Antonio is often overlooked as a major city in Texas. Tom Henry had Austin. So did Blaine. Debbie Manuel, El Paso, Texas. Yep, number five city, El Paso. Uh, Tracy had Austin. Carla Miller, Houston. Uh, Paul Wilgus is guessing Fort Worth. Uh, Fort Worth is number number five, just ahead of El Paso, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, DNS has Houston. Donna has Austin. Ed has El Paso. Debbie, Austin. Um, Dave has Austin as well. Barb, Dallas. Blaine with El Paso. Tracy with Fort Worth. We got all these. Ed is going with Houston. DNS, Fort Worth. Cool Jazz. What about Arlington, uh, da Texas, Bruce? Is Arlington in there? Yeah. Number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven is Arlington. You guys have the top seven. There's three to go. Good stuff. San Antonio, we have Waco. No, Waco's not a top 10. Uh, San Antonio, Waco, Houston, Plano, Texas. Yeah, number nine, Plano, Texas, leaving me two to go. Uh, San Antonio, Arlington, Debbie, Dallas, almost a movie. No, well, we're not going there. Cat Chat Fever, Houston, Dallas, Lubbock. Uh, Cat, you can only give me one answer per text. Uh, I know you missed the instructions because you're late. It's all good. Uh, so just give me one answer per text like everybody else. Let's go. Carla Miller, Arlington, uh, Blaine, Irving, Texas. No, nope, not in the top 10. Uh, El Paso, Lubbock, Lubbock, not in the top 10. Uh, Fort Worth, we've got already. Uh, New Orleans, pretty saying New Orleans, Texas. That's a new town. I'm shifting the borders over. I'm bringing it over. Can't do that. Uh, Debbie Manuel, hey, Robert. Uh, DNS, uh, Galveston. There's a good guess. Nope, Galveston is not in the top 10. Uh, we have Austin Amarillo. Nope, not Amarillo. I've got two left. Uh, Valen for Martinez from Argentina is here. How you doing, Valen? Welcome back, buddy. Um, Brittany Lockwood, Houston. Tom Henry, Corpus Christi. Bingo. Corpus Christi is the number eight city in Texas. Leaves me number 10, the last one to go. What is it? Brittany's thinking San Antonio. Robert, no offense, Debbie Manuel. De uh, Brittany Lockwood, Galveston. AC Supersports uh, Galveston. Blaine is thinking Plano. Ed is going with the, uh, Plano. Blaine, 2007, Laredo, Texas. Bingo, buddy. Number 10 on the list is Laredo, Texas. 
You got it. We just nailed the top 10. Robert has McAllen. Uh, Debbie Mandel, none taken, Robert. I laugh. Cat Rose, Amarillo. Uh, Brittany Lockwood had Corpus Christi. Paul Wilgus, Robert Brandt. I was thinking that when she said Dallas. <laughs> Cat, Chat, Beaver, Amarillo, and uh, we're done. Port Galveston. Let me read the top 10 cities of Dallas or Texas for you. Number one city, Houston. Number two, San Antonio. Number three, Dallas. Then Austin, Fort Worth, El Paso, Arlington, Corpus Christi, Plano, and Laredo. How about that? Okay, give me another top 10 right here. This one's going to get you guys. I'm going to nail you on this one. You're going to have a tough time. I know it. I feel it. But then again, you surprise me every time. Tell me the top 10 cities of Illinois. The top 10 cities of the state of Illinois. This should be fun. We all know the first one. The first one's easy. But after that, it gets interesting because Illinois doesn't have a lot of great giant cities. Let's see what we can do. Rick, crazy rich guys, you're the first off the mark. Chicago. Yes, Chicago is the number one city in Illinois. Donna has Chicago. David is coming in with Chicago. Tracy is coming in with Chicago. Carla coming in with Chicago, Barb is Chicago, AC Supersport Chicago, number one city, uh, and Jordan, Chicago, then blank. <laughs> number one is Chicago. Well done, you guys. All right, let me go back to the beginning of all these guesses, and let's see what the other cities are being guessed here. Tom Henry is thinking Rockford. Uh, you know what? Rockford Peaches from the movie uh, A League of Their Own. Rockford, Illinois. Yeah, number three city. Rockford in Illinois. Uh, Donna Menkinen is thinking Peoria. Yep, number six city is Peoria, or number seven, sorry. Got it. Uh, let's see, everyone's going out with Chicago. Uh, Rockford, Carla Miller, Rockford. Uh, we have it, Rockford, Illinois. Yep, the peaches. Uh, let's see here, Ed Tolson, Evansville. Evansville, Illinois. Uh, no, nope. Evansville is not big enough to make the top 10. How about that? Uh, Davenport, Tracy Dunlop, Davenport. Nope, Davenport is not a top 10 city of Illinois. I'm not sure if it's a city of Illinois. Um, that might be Indiana, but I could be wrong. Debbie Emmanuel, Springfield, like the Simpsons. Uh, Tom has Springfield. Carla is coming to Springfield. Yes, Springfield, Illinois. Number six city in the state. Bloomington from Barb. Uh, Bloomington is um, Minnesota, I believe. Uh, not uh, not going to work in Illinois. Uh, Champaign. Uh, Blaine is thinking Champaign. Uh, no, it's not a top 10 city. Uh, Chicago, we have Carbondale. Uh, Carla Miller is thinking Carbondale, Illinois. Nope, not on the list. We have Springfield. Naperville. Blaine is wondering about Naperville. Yes, sir. Number five city in Illinois is Naperville. Carla Miller, Madison, M-A-T-T, -T, Madison. Nope, not Madison. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, my boyfriend, is from Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, well done there, Brittany. Um, uh, Tracy has Springfield. Paul Wilson, Richmond. Uh, is there a Richmond, Illinois? Uh, nope, not in this list. Uh, Peoria, we have uh, Chicago. Gary, uh, Gary is Indiana, I believe, uh, not Illinois. Elgin or Elgin. Uh, yeah, Elgin is in there. Number eight on the list. Well done. Uh, Rockford Files, Cool Jazz is saying. There you go. Larry Brake, Springfield. We have a, a Blaine, Aurora. Blaine, number two city is Aurora, Illinois. Made famous in Wayne's World, the movie Wayne's World, Aurora, Illinois. Fantastic. Donna McKinnon, when I worked in a nursing home, one of my patients was a Rockford Peach. How about that? You're talking about touching history there. That is awesome, Donna. Fantastic. Uh, Paul Wilson, Emporia. Emporia. Uh, that doesn't look familiar to me at all. No can do. Uh, Crazy Rich Guys Travels. My boyfriend is from... Uh, wait a minute. I, I don't have one. <laughs> Blaine, um, Hinesdale. Hinesdale. Um, nope. No Hinesdale, Illinois in the top 10. Cicero, Larry Blake, yes, sir. Number 10 city, Cicero, C-I-C-E-R-O. Well done. Elgin, Illinois, Larry Blake, Elgin. Uh, yeah, we have it already as number eight. North Peoria. No, 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 that's not going to work. No, we got Peoria. That's it. Uh, Robert Brandt, Champagne is from, fan, is from France. Oh, so I hear too. Uh, Paul Wilson, um, Effingham, e Effingham, uh, Illinois. Not in the top 10, no can do. Waukegan. Illinois. Yes, Waukegan, number nine city. Isn't Waukegan 
the home of Jack Benny. Isn't that where Jack Benny was born? I thought it was Waukegan. I could be wrong. Schamburg. Don is wondering about Schamburg. No, I need uh, one city to go, and it's famous for a big jail. Uh, anybody know about that? Uh, Robert Bryant. Otherwise, it's sparkling wine. Uh, Tom Henry laughing out loud. Uh, Blaine Joliet. Yeah, Joliet, which is made famous by the Blues Brothers when, uh, when uh, was it, uh, one of the Blues Brothers was in jail. That's where they started the movie, the first ever Blues Brothers movie. He got out of jail, and his brother was waiting for him, Elwood Blues, and was it Jake Blues? Uh, how about that? There you go. We're done with Illinois. Chicago, Aurora, Rockford, Joliet, Naperville, Springfield, Peoria, Elgin, Waukegan and Cicero, Illinois. We got two of the quick tens done. Well done, everybody. All right, I'm going to change gears here on you. We're going to go a whole different direction. Uh, we're going to go with a cruise, a little bit of cruise ship trivia, um, shipping trivia. <clears throat> this should be fun. Um, I hope you guys do well on this. I think you'll be pretty good. You did all right on Illinois. I'll tell you that. Well done. Uh, Cat Rose, that was Jake. Thank you, Cat. You got it. All right, 40, 46 of you here. Uh, here we go, guys. Tell me, tell me what this is the expression they use in the shipping business. It's called countries of convenience. Um, all ships have a flag where the ship is registered in, and they're known as countries of convenience. Cruise ships use them, uh, freighters. Tell me the countries of convenience that are most used by ships around the world. And this is countries and territories. So we're talking about maybe a country with a couple of territories that could be qualified here. Let's see how we do with this. Uh, should be a lot of fun here. Cool, cool jazz is starting right off. As so is Tom Henry and Debbie Manuel. NASA. NASA in the Bahamas. Yes, it's the Bahamas, and uh, Nassau is definitely one of them. Uh, I'll give you all of that for sure. Uh, Tom Henry, by the way, saying Davenport is in Iowa. Thank you, Tom. I need your help all the time on this. Uh, cool Jazz, uh, Panama. I think I think you forgot the A there, <laughs> but I'll give it to you. I believe so. Yeah, Panama is a, a country of convenience for cruise ships and other ships. Debbie Manuel, Nassau, DNS World Travels, the Netherlands. Uh, Netherlands, um, nope, not in the, not, uh, popular enough to be in this list. Uh, Paul Wilgus, the Bahamas, we have it. And Jordan Thicke in London, uh, not cities, countries. Uh, give me countries. Uh, Donna Mankinnon, the Bahamas, we have it. Uh, AC Supersport, Valletta, what country is that one in, please? Tom Henry, Panama, Ca Carla Miller, Panama, we have it. Robert Brandt, what about St. Thomas, Bruce? St. Thomas, uh, not on this list, um, it is uh, used by some, but not popular enough. That is U.S. territory, and it might not work for tax reasons for other uh, cruise lines. You never know. Blaine, 2007, what about Italy? Is Italy on this list, Bruce? Uh, no, Italy is not on the list. Uh, Panama, we have um, crazy rich guys here. St. Thomas, here. No, no, it's not on the list. Um, cat chat fever, Puerto Rico. Uh, Puerto Rico is a territory of the United States. Not a flag of convenience for cruise ships. No, not at all. And merchant ships. No, not making the list. David uh, is thinking Italy. We've tried that. Uh, Blaine Barbados. We've uh, Barbados. Yes, Barbados is on the list. Bermuda and Barbados. Thank you. Uh, Blaine Cayman Islands. Yes, the Cayman Islands, a protectorate of the United Kingdom. One of them, hint, 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 uh, is on the list. Uh, AC Superstore Carnival is Panama. Yep, it is. Uh, Tom Henry, Venezuela? Uh, no, not Venezuela. Uh, not convenient in Venezuela these days. Um, DNS World Travel, Germany. What about Germany, Bruce? Yes, Germany is actually a flag of convenience for some uh, from some merchant liners. Brittany Lockwood, Nassau. That's a city, and it's the Bahamas, and we already have the Bahamas. It's uh, countries only, please, or territories. Blaine, what about Gibraltar? Gibraltar, yes, is a protectorate of the United Kingdom, hint, hint, and it's on the list. Fantastic. David uh, is thinking about Spain. Uh, nope, Spain is not in there being part of the uh, EU. Uh, not too convenient to be uh, uh, flying the flag of Spain for a flag of convenience, kind of a high-tax area. Uh, HC Supersport Valletta for Celebrity Edge. What is the country that Valletta is from? What is I'm putting you on the spot there, AC. 
Tracy Dunlap, England, um, UK, England. Um, it's it's uh, not the UK as a whole, but some of the protectorates work. Uh, Blaine Antigua. Yep, Antigua and Barbuda, definitely. Uh, Panama we have. Malta, cool jazz, Malta. That is it. Valletta, Malta, definitely a flag of convenience, definitely. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, Italy, no. Debbie Manuel, Denmark, nope. Uh, what about, Galena is saying, what about Mexico, Bruce? Mexico, nope. Mexico is not a flag of convenience. Uh, Malta, we have. Uh, and UK, nope. Just protectorates. Give me protectorates. Blaine, Korea? Uh, well, there are two Koreas, and uh, neither are convenient for flag flying on ships. AC Malta, you got it, AC. Uh, you're, uh, you're right. You had Valletta. It is Malta, and you're on it all the, the whole time. And Jordan, Spain, no. Cool jazz. Geneva, well, that's not a uh, country. Um, it's part of a it, – it's, it's a city that's in a country. Uh, but to take – I'm going to take you out of your misery, cool jazz. It's not Switzerland. No, it, the Switzerland is not a flag of convenience. Donna Mankin in Brazil. Uh, nope, not Brazil. Um, <clears throat> Robert Brandt, <coughs> Iberia, Iberia, or Liberia. It is Liberia. Correct. That one is definitely one of them. Brittany had Germany. DNS World Travels is thinking Norway. The answer is no. Um, by the way, uh, whoever gave me Korea, I'm giving you half points. North Korea is a flag of convenience. Believe it or not, North Korea is a flag of convenience for certain carriers around the world unbelievable uh very interesting uh okay who else is here um let me go through here sorry uh germany no norway no costa rico or costa rica uh no costa rica is not another one no bolivia yes bolivia here it is i, I thought it wasn't but it was bolivia is on there uh robert brandt jamaica jamaica yes is on there absolutely italy no colombia another guess Colombia? No. Colombia is not on the list. Cyprus. Uh, Cyprus, not a flag of convenience country. Marshall Islands. Larry Blake. Yes, sir. Marshall Islands. Definitely, Larry. Uh, British VI, British Virgin Islands. Tom Henry's wondering. Nope, not showing here. Uh, Bermuda. Yes, Bermuda is showing here. Uh, cool, Jess, go ahead with your bad self. <laughs> Uh, Kenrick, uh, Alaska. No, that's uh, that's a, a state of the USA, and the USA is not a flag of convenience. No. Um, Brittany is thinking Jamaica. We have it. Falkland Islands, Tom Henry. What about the Falkland Islands? Uh, no, it's a protectorate of the UK, but no, not a flag of convenience. Mongolia is coming in here. Yeah, Mongolia, a flag of convenience country. Antarctica from Tom Henry. Uh, no, no, sorry. Can't help you there. Hong Kong, Japan. Uh, no. Brittany Lockwood, China. No, not a, a flag of convenience at all. No. Um, uh, Gregory, Canada. Uh, no. Uh, Canada. Uh, no. No, we would we would tax merchant ships to death if we had those flags. Oh, gosh, no. You're not going to register in Canada. Barbados, we have it. Japan, no. St. Vincent. Um, yes, St. Vincent, definitely. And the Grenadines. Is a flag of convenience. A uh, Moldova. Yep, that's another one. Well done. Norway, no. Robert Brand, how are all the Brit Islands cheaper with their high tariffs? I think because they're the territories tax their own uh, their own territory. And that's why Cayman Islands taxation is next to nothing. That's why they use the Cayman flag. Galen has Japan. Cool jazz. Thank you, Sylvia. Blaine, Myanmar. Yep, Myanmar. Uh, Burma. That's right. It's another one. Uh, North Korea, we have it, Brittany. It's a correct answer. Uh, Super Sports, laughing out loud. Debbie Manuel, how about Somalia? Laugh out loud. Uh, nope, not Somalia. Um, <laughs> Honduras, Blaine is wondering. Yep, that's another one. Honduras, Wakanda. W Wakanda? <laughs> laugh out loud. Wakanda. <laughs> I like that. Blaine, Germany, uh, no. Uh, and Jordan, we've already done Germany. South Korea, no. Uh, Lebanese, like Lebanon, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, Lebanon. Bingo, that's another one. Well done. Uh, China, no. The Vatican, sorry. Uh, Comoros. Comoros, yes, that's another one. Uh, crazy Rich Guys, Willy Wonka Land. Brittany Lockwood, Greece. Uh, no, Greece is not on the list. Uh, uh, Gregory, I'm not even seeing these on the chat. Laugh out loud. Robert Brandt, SMH. Um, 
I already forgot what that means. Uh, Guam and Jordan was thinking Guam. No, not a flag of convenience for the USA. Blaine, Sao Tome in Africa. Yep, that's another one. Uh, Sylvia laughing out loud. Crazy rich guys. Blaine, Tonga. Yep, that's another one. Uh, Spain. No, Australia. No, Sri Lanka. Yes, another one gone. Uh, what else do I have going through here? Portugal is another guest coming in. Nope, no Portugal. Um, Brittany, I think I can claim a full point for North Korea. You can. Sylvia Swan, uh, Poland. Poland, no. Poland, not on the list. Uh, Egypt, uh, la, 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 la. no. Egypt, not on the list. Robert Brandt, Jones, X, screws it all up again. That's right. Uh, and Jordan, Bangladesh, no. Uh, Monrovia, Monrovia, uh, no, 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 not Monrovia. New Delhi, that is a city. Okay, I see it. Gregor says, Blaine, Belize, question mark. Answer, correct. A Belize is definitely one of them, Blaine. Uh, Morocco from Brittany Lockwood. Morocco, no, no, Morocco, not in there. Robert Brent, Egypt, no. Uh, Qatar is a guess, no, coming in, no. Turkey, no. <clears throat> Cyprus, no. Belize, uh, we have already. Uh, let's see your and Jordan laugh out loud. DNS World Travel, New Zealand, no. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, um, Brittany Lockwood, uh, Chile, uh, nope, not Chile, uh, Cuba from Gaylene Davidson, Cuba, nope, um, Argentina from DRG, nope, uh, Philippines, the Philippines, uh, nope, not the Philippines either, Thailand from AC Supersport, nope, Thailand is not on there either, Netherlands, uh, uh, no, the taxation will kill you there, Doha, that's a city, Brittany Lockwood, India, I don't think so. Uh, no, not a chance. India, no way. Uh, UAE, no. UAE is not in there either. Curacao. Curacao, yes. Curacao is definitely a country. The Congo, uh, no, not the Congo. Uh, crazy Rich Guy seems maybe there is an, an imbalance of trade and taxing. Uh, and Kenrick is thinking St. Kitts. Not St. Kitts. Good guess, though. And then uh, Bolivia is just coming in here. No, no Bolivia. Rubber rent. Now you are learning, uh, at Crazy Rich Guys. Uh, Gregory, Guatemala. Guatemala? Nope, not Guatemala either. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, South Africa. Nope, South Africa not. Tonga from Cool Jazz. We have Tonga already. It was a correct answer. Uh, we're still looking for about 10 more. How are we doing here? Uh, Honduras coming in now. Uh, we already have Honduras. Uh, and I've caught up with all of you guys. I'll start giving you hints here. As we've polished these off, Com Com Comoros, um, Comoros we have, uh, Romania, uh, no, and uh, the North Pole, no. Brazil, no. Santa has free trade. Any hints, laugh out loud. Brittany Lockwood, Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia, no. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. So far, you hi you guys have got a, few, a real good ones here. You've got Antigua and Barbuda. You've got Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Bermuda, Bolivia. You've got Cayman Islands, Comoros, Curacao. You have Germany. You have Gibraltar, Honduras, Jamaica, Lebanon, Liberia, Malta, Marshall Islands, Moldova, Mongolia, Myanmar, North Korea, Panama, St. Vincent, Sao Tome, Sri Lanka, Tonga. Um, now I'm looking at others coming in here. Uh, one moment here. Finland is, I guess. Uh, no, Finland not working. Kiev, that's a city. Greece. Uh, no, not Greece with all the Greek shipping. No. Uh, <laughs> Gregory laughing out loud. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, Nigeria. Uh, no, not Nigeria. Panama, we've already tried, already done it. Italy, no. Vanuatu, cool jazz, correct. Vanuatu is the last one on the list for for the for the alphabet in the V. Robert Brandt, the guys in D the guys in DC, uh, they're taxing Santa, so no go, no can do. Uh, Donal is wondering about Iceland. Uh, no, sir, not Iceland. Um, what about, uh, where are we here? Paul Lewis laughing out loud. Tom Henry, Lower Slobovia. Uh, Morit, 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 Moritius, cool jazz. Moritius, um, correct. That is another one. Greenland, no. Guatemala, no. Um, Haiti. No, Haiti could use some tax money, but they're not cheap enough for these flags of convenience. No can do. Spain, no. Singapore, Singapore, no, surprisingly. Greenland, no. Sweden, no. Mauritius, we have. Dominican Republic, 
Uh, no, you'd think they would be, but no. Iceland, uh, crazy rich guys, no. Um, I'm looking for a country next door to Vietnam in Asia. Um, looking for a, um, a country in Europe, a um, very powerful country in Europe beside Germany. I'm looking for, um, let's see here. I'm looking for a country that used to be in the Soviet sphere is trying to get out and now they're having trouble with the Soviets uh, and there are troops on their soil, but it's not Ukraine. What is it? Uh, Marshall Islands, another guest coming in. No, we already had it. Uh, Laos, a very good guest. Not the country I'm looking for. It's the other one right there. Um, let's go here. Sorry, uh, see what are going here? Guinea. Blaine is wondering about Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is definitely one of them. Thank you. Uh, Crazy Rice Travel, Cambodia. Yes, Cambodia. Well done. Uh, powerful country in Europe I'm looking for. Uh, Greenland, Switzerland, Vietnam just came in. Turkey, uh, Thailand. All of these are not correct. Uh, Brussels, that's a city. Cambodia, we have. Thailand, we've had already. Uh, Ukraine, no, not Ukraine. Poland, we've got. Siberia. That's a district of Russia. Liberia, we have Georgia. Ed, you got it. Georgia is a territory of uh, in Asia, uh, under the Soviet sphere. They're trying to go Western. They're having trouble. AC Supersport, we are still doing countries of convenience. Yes, we are. Cool Jazz, Belize. Belize, we have it already. Poland, we have it already. Uh, who else have we got left? We're running out of these now. Um, uh, country beside Germany in uh, in Europe. Uh, what's the country beside Germany? Uh, it's not Poland. It's the other direction. Brittany Lockwood is thinking, what about Russia? No, Russia is not a flag of convenience at all. Um, what else can I do? I'm down to like two or three, and that's it. And I'm having a tremendous difficulty giving you hints. <laughs> Robert Brandt, France? Yes, France. Uh, believe it or not, France is a flag of convenience for some from some uh, carriers. Unbelievable. All right, I'm down to a couple here. Um, one of them is the Faroe Islands. I have no idea how to give you a hint on this one. The Faroe Islands. And the other one is Madeira or Madeira, Madeira. And I think we're done. Um, Hungary came in, Portugal came in, Vanuatu. Here are the countries or flags of convenience, countries of convenience for ships, starting with Antigua. Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Bermuda, Bolivia, Cambodia, Cayman Islands, uh, Comoros, Curacao, Equatorial Guinea, Fa Faroe Islands, France, Georgia, Germany, Gibraltar, Honduras, Jamaica, Lebanon, Liberia, Madeira, Malta, Marshall Islands, Morit Mauritius, Moldova, Mongolia, Myanmar, North Korea, Panama, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Sao Tome, Sri Lanka, Tonga, and Vanuatu. Those are the flags of convenience, the most popular of quite something. All right, a couple of quick tens, and then I got one more biggie for you. All righty, here we go. Uh, tell me the largest cities of New York State. The largest cities of New York State. Let's see how fast you knock these guys off. This shouldn't take but a minute. The 10 largest cities in New York State. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. New York City, crazy rich guys. Um, AC Supersport, Dream Cruises laid the keel for the global class. Uh, AC Supersport, New York City. Ed Tolleson, New York. Donna, New York. Uh, correct, correct, correct. Number one city is New York in New York. What after that? What are the other nine? Here we go. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, Albany, the capital of New York State. Both the, the fifth, sixth largest city in New York. Uh, New Jersey is a big old city in New York. Uh, sorry, can't help you there. AC Super, I'm from New York City. Cool Jazz, Rochester. Yes, sir. Rochester, number three city in New York State. Albany, Albany, we have Buffalo from Tom Henry. Yep, number two city in New York State. Syracuse from Tracy, number five. Well done. Albany, Albany, Buffalo, uh, again, and Jordan is thinking New Jersey is in New York State. Uh, the Bronx, no, that's a that's a that's a district of the New York City of New York. Uh, Binghampton, it looks like someone's trying to write here. Bing Binghampton or something like that. No, not working for New York State. Um, New York City, we already have it, Donnell. Well done, buddy, you got it. 
Uh, Ed has Buffalo. Tom, Corning. Tracy has Corning as well. Not in the top 10, believe it or not. Um, Elmira. Sylvia's thinking Elmira, New York. Nope. Not in the top 10. Buffalo, we have Elmira again. Shit. Schenectady from DNS World Travels. Yeah, I love that name of that town. Schenectady, New York, number nine, largest city in the state of New York. Schenectady. Uh, Rochester, we have Utica. Larry Blake, Utica, New York, number 10 city. Utica. Batavia, Batavia, New York. No, nope, not in the top 10. Plattsburgh, another New York of state. Nope, not in New York, uh, not in top 10. Syracuse. Number, we we, uh, we are looking at Syracuse, excuse me, uh, that we already have, number five. Uh, Long Island, that is uh, not a city, that's an island. Yonkers, number four is Yonkers. Well done. The Vatican, uh, we always go with the Vatican. Trump Tower, Robert Brent. Uh, Binging, Bingington from Barb. Barb is wondering about Bingington. No, it's not in the top ten, Barb. Uh, Niagara Falls, not a city in New York uh, a state that's in the top ten. A uh, New Rochelle, yes, New Rochelle is number seven. It looks like, Canada, uh, Canada, Guaya. <laughs> no, uh, no, uh, you said the name, crazy rich guys. Blaine, New Rochelle, well done. Robert Brent, uh, yeah, I did say the name. That's right, you caught me on that one. Ah, uh, someone tricked me. You see, uh, Robert Brent isn't a building with all the security in New York City. That should count. That should be its own city. Uh, cool Jazz, Rome, New York. No, Lake Placid, New York. No, Ithaca, New York. Home of uh, Joe Newendike, great hockey player for the Calgary Flames. Ithaca, New York. Not a top 10 city, though. New Rochelle, Mount Vernon. Yes, sir, DNS. You got Mount Vernon. That nailed it. I think we're done. It is New York, Buffalo, Rochester, Yonkers, Syracuse, Albany, New Rochelle, Mount Vernon, Schenectady, and Utica are the top 10 cities of New York State. Other guesses are White Plains, Troy, the Hamptons, the Hamptons. Uh, I grew up in New York, and I can't think of any Sylvia saying Blaine, White Plains, AZ Supersport, the New York City subway system, Russell Sparks, Pottersville, Brittany, Rikers. There's a town unto itself. Hello from Moose Factory, Ontario. Paul Ada, how you doing, Paul? How's it going in Moose Factory? Welcome to the show. I'm glad you're here. There's 43 of you. All right, I got another quick 10 for you. Quick 10, tell me the largest 10 cities in Florida. Tell me the 10 largest cities in the state of Florida. Here we go. Uh, let's see what we have. The top 10 largest cities in the state of Florida by population. What have we got? Uh, crazy rich guys, or is plural for moose mice? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. AC Supersport, Tampa. Donna McKinnon, Tampa. Robert Brent, Tampa. It's the number three city in the state. Number three, AC Supersport, Miami. Number two in the state is Miami. Uh, Debbie, has a, Debbie has a Miami. Donna has Miami. Paul, at the, no, but we eat them. <laughs> we eat the moose. Uh, DNS World Travel, Tallahassee. The capital. Yeah, number, oh, what would that be? 10, 9, 8. Number seven, largest city in the state is Tallahassee, Florida. Tampa Bay from Gregory uh, Blaine, Jacksonville, number one city. The largest city in Florida, Jacksonville, Florida by population. Ed has Miami. Robert Brandt, Orlando, number five, largest city. Brittany Lockwood, I'm just guessing. Tallahassee from Debbie. AC has Orlando. Tracy has Tallahassee. Barb, Fort Lauderdale. Where all those cruise ships go out from, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, number eight, you got it, number eight city, DNS, Miami, <coughs> Tom Henry, Orlando, Sylvia has Tampa, Donnell, Miami, Tracy, Jacksonville, these are all correct, already been guessed, we've got Orlando, St. Augustine, the oldest city, I believe, in North America, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but it's not in the top ten, sorry, Tracy, don't let Miami, crazy rich guys, can't be mooses, uh, no, moose is plural for moose. Um, Tom Henry, Jacksonville, Barb, Orlando, Robert Brandt, Naples. Uh, nope, Naples, Florida is not a top 10 city. Tampa from Paul Atta, um, Tracy Dunlap, Fort Lauderdale. We have a Palm Beach, Tracy Dunlap, Palm Beach. Nope, not a top 10 city. Donna McKinnon, Daytona. What about Daytona, Bruce? Uh, nope, Daytona, not a top 10. Cool Jazz, Little Cuba. Nope, Fort Lauderdale. We have a Canopy. Nope. St. Petersburg. Tracy, you are correct. St. Petersburg, the fourth largest city in Florida, is St. Petersburg. 
Orlando from Brittany. AC has Key West. No, Cape Corral from or Cape Coral, Larry Blake. Uh, no, it's not a top 10. Jacksonville, we have it. Biscayne. Is Biscayne in there? No, it's not in there. I like Key West. I don't blame you. Homestead. No, Sarasota. No, uh, Knott'sville. No, not no, no. There's a Knott'sville, Tennessee, or Knott'sville. No, Knott'sville. No, 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 can't do. Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach. Tracy Dunlop is thinking. Nope, not Daytona Beach. Orange. No, Daytona. No, Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola. I love that name. Nope, not a top ten city either. Um, crazy rich guys. I like Key West too. Sylvia. Cool Jazz. Mara Lago. Ah, uh -uh, laughing. You knew what off. Melbourne. No, I'll try again. Gainesville. Gainesville, home of Tom Petty. No, not a top ten city. Sorry, Fort Myers. Florida, Fort Myers, not a top 10 city in Florida. They don't know. Key West is like here. Uh, Port St. Lucie, yes. Number nine city, Port St. Lucie. De Deltona, uh, Disney, uh, Key West is awesome. Uh, please, we don't want Naples to be in the top 10 city. Uh, Margar, no, Panama City, uh, no. We have two left. Uh, sorry, Tracy. AC Supersport, Key West, no. Cool Jazz, Cape Canaveral, no. Blaine. Winter Haven, no. Hi, Leah. Yes, Larry Blake. Hi, Leah is number six on the list. Leaves me one. Number 10, number 10 city in uh, all of Florida. Lakeland, Everglades, Cocoa Beach. I get some else in Key West. C C Cocoa Beach. No, 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 no. Uh, it's two words. It's not Bonita Springs. Uh, the second word is Pines. What's the first word? CRG, I'll be coming to St. Thomas in January 2020 on a cruise, Sylvia Saint. Uh, something pines in Florida. What's the name of that town? 10th biggest in Florida. Tom Henry laughing out loud. Uh, crazy rich guys. What is it? Here we are coming, waiting for a guest from all of you Floridians. There's a bunch of you guys from Florida. Everglades, Lake Worth. Paul Lucas, crazy rich guy travels. My favorite place in Florida is Key West. How about that? Tracy Lola. I'm sure you do, crazy rich guys. Something Pines, what is it? Anybody got it? Pembroke Pines, Paul Wilgus got it. There it is. Those are the top 10 cities in Florida. Jacksonville, Miami, Tampa, St. Petersburg, Orlando, Hialeah, Tallahassee, Fort Lauderdale, Port St. Lucie, and Pembroke Pines. There you have it. All right. Here's one for you. Are you ready for this one? All right, here we go. I want you guys to tell me, and I, I got, how many have I got? I got 39 of you still here. So I got a, most of you are hanging on, 27 thumbs ups. If I get 35 thumbs ups, I'll give you the next uh, I'll give you the next guess or the next quiz. I need eight more thumbs ups. Please give me a thumbs up. Get me to 35 and I got this one right here. You're going to love this one. This one is a beauty. I'm waiting for eight more thumbs ups. I'm just sitting right here and waiting for eight thumbs ups to go to 35. I got 27 right now. Robert Brandt is throwing me thumbs ups everywhere. Uh, Tom Henry's taking shady pints. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I got 27 thumbs ups. A crazy rich guys travels. They're throwing me kisses. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, you know, appreciate it, I suppose. Um, let's see how many thumbs ups we can get. Can we get the 35 thumbs ups? I don't know. I see 31 now. Oh, we just popped up four, right? Just like that. Thank you, everybody. Four more, and we're going for the next one. The next quiz. I got two, three left, and uh, two small ones and a big one. And I'm ready to go. I got 33. I need two more thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody. Blaine said 32. We got 33 now. Uh, Gregory's laughing out loud. He loves this. Uh, 33 thumbs ups. Need two more. Robert Brandt says you got 34. Uh, Paul Wilga says you got 34, man. Uh, crazy Rich Guys, my kisses have an effect. Uh, thank you. That's why we got the 3,000 so fast. Holding folks hostage. That's right. 34 AC Super Sport is saying, Tom Henry, what, what, show, what show made Shady Pines popular? Brittany Lockwood says you got 34. I need 35. I need 35 thumbs ups. Got to get one more. Please give me a thumbs ups, people. There's 40 of you here. I want to get the next cruise, the next uh, cruise. I want to get the next uh, the next uh, quiz. Uh, someone's saying, everyone's saying I got 34. I still see only 33 on my screen. Waiting for 35. Are there 35 thumbs ups in the world? I don't know. Golden Girls, they say, made that uh, town popular. How about that? Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Couple of more to go, and we're there. 34 thumbs ups are in the bin, they say. Although I only show 33 over here. Uh, what can I tell you? Trying to hold everybody hostage for a couple of thumbs ups. Help me out, people. Help me, help me, Rhonda. And then I've got 
three more quizzes for you. Oh, my gosh. Hit it, people, says DNS World Travels. Give Bruce a thumbs up. Help them out. Sylvia, uh, I want to come to your brother's restaurant. I want a friend of mine to also come on the cruise. I might have to twist his arms, laugh out loud, Sylvia. Fantastic. That'll be fun. People are coming down to St. Thomas. See you guys. This is going to be great. Hit that guy's uh, uh, the button. Laugh out loud. Crazy rich guys. He has a few. Uh, 34. I see 34 now. And Don Ellis saying 35. AC saying 35. Blaine is saying you got 35. Tom Henry, that was my in between uh, trivia. Good job. Paul Luga says you got 35. Bruce, you got 35. I see 34. Everyone says you got 35. Well, I'll tell you what. I like it. Bakersfield, uh, 35 2 from me. Brittany is saying Don McKinnon, 35 up, one down. I'm showing 34 4 up, one down. If I knew where my phone was, I'd hit it with my other account. It's okay. We're going on. Here it is. Are you ready for this one? I see 36. Holy cow, I see 36. All righty, tell me the different flavors of Spam. <laughs> tell me the flavors of Spam you can buy. The actual flavors of Spam. People are telling me I got 37 thumbs up. So this is awesome. Thank you, everybody, for 37 thumbs up. What are the flavors of Spam you can buy? Oh, my goodness. Robert Brandt, uh, you can buy orange? Uh, no, Bruce, can't see on the Canadian screen. Reload, Cool Jazz, reload. Brittany Lock with 37. Uh, Blaine, black pepper. Yes, that is a flavor of Spam. Black pepper. Cat Rose, barbecue? No, AC Super Sport. More cruise quizzes. Uh, Debbie Manuel, um, regular? Yes, regular Spam classic you got it what other kinds of spam are they gregory's going yuck uh dns world travel barbecue no by the way you know if you're ever uh, stuck on a cruise ship like the folks were on the poop cruise about six years ago the carnival triumph when the engines gave out they were at drift for five days in the gulf the u.s navy dropped off cans of spam on board the cruise ship so they could feed the passengers spam sandwiches I wonder how many po folks on that cruise are eating Spam today in memory of their experience. I can't imagine that. Oh, my goodness. Paul Willis, garlic, Spam, garlic? Nope. Uh, cool Jess, we waited for that. You hold us hostage for 35 thumbs up to give us the old Spam routine? I'm sorry, but this is one of the three I got left. Tell me the flavors of Spam available. Uh, Gaylene, garlic, no. Blaine, bacon, yes. Bacon, spam with bacon is available. How about that? AC Super Sport smoked? How about hickory smoked? Yeah, hickory smoked spam. Can you imagine? Uh, DNS World Travel Original, we've got it. Flames, roasted turkey. Yeah, roasted, oven roasted turkey spam. Oven roasted turkey spam. Yeah, it's available. Oh, my goodness. Crazy Rich Guys Travels. Ham? No. Sylvie Swan. Yuck. Spam. Donna. Uh, ick and icky and ew. <laughs> Blaine. Jalapeno? Jalapeno. Yeah, that's you need the, the need the taste of jalapeno just to be able to eat this stuff. Absolutely. Jalapeno. Blaine and Ed and DNS. You all got it. Uh, Crazy Rich Guys Travels. Hawaiian? No. And Jordan. Poutine flavor? No. Cool Jazz. You can't see. You can't see, Bruce. Not me. Um, cool Jazz saying uh, uh, Paul is also going with jalapeno. Crazy Rich Guys. Meat leftovers. Uh, Tracy's all going, ugh, spam. Really? I didn't know there was any more than one spam. I got three, four more. I got four more. Oh, my goodness. We have barbecue in Michigan, DNS is saying. Larry Blake's bacon. Brittany Lockwood, regular. Robert Brandt, what do you know about spam? Crazy Rich Guys travel. A Paul Atta, low salt. Yes, low sodium spam is definitely one of them. I'm down to three to go. Oh, my goodness. What have we got here? <laughs> Brittany Lockwood, spicy, hot and spicy. That's one of them. Hot and spicy spam. Oh my goodness. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, I guess I would I guess I would eat. Uh, AC Supersport. I hate uh teriyaki Blaine is thinking. No, Larry Blake, Turkey, we have it. AC Supersport spam sucks. Brittany Lockwood, pepper, we got a plain garlic. No, full of sodium, Sylvia saying. Robert Brandt, spam in a can. Uh, low sodium, uh chor chor chorizo. No, jalapeno, light, Blaine, you're correct. Spam light is the second last one. 
one left. Oh, my God. You guys are going to gag when you hear this one. Uh, Blurry is thinking hickory, cool jazz ham, crazy rich guys, World War II vet veteran flavor. And Jordan Spam, ew, yucky vomit in a can, cool jazz, honey roasted, no. Uh, AC Supersport, Tocino, Tocino, no. Tracy Dunlop, people really buy all that spam. Paul Atta, kosher, no. Tofu, no. Cool <laughs> jazz. Spam with a side of hot sauce. Brittany Lockwood, honey, no. Cajun spam, no. Pineapple, no. Low sodium is a flavor. It's a style. Dojino spam, hickory smoke. Robert Brandt, you need low sodium. God knows you're concerned with your healthy eating spam. Blaine, smoke, no. Donnell, veggie, no. I guess it changes the flavor. Uh, Gregory's saying Brittany Lockwood, chocolate spam, no. Spam isn't going to be a sponsor with Bruce. I'm traveling with Bruce, that's for sure. Tracy's on love, sweet and sour, no. Brittany Lockwood, sweet and sour, no. Uh, Blaine, cheese, yes, cheese, spam, spam with cheese in a can. Can you imagine the flavor? Oh, my God. <laughs> Tom Henry, burger, <laughs> and Tolson chorizo. Bruce, do you eat spam? No, I don't. Larry Blake, chorizo, oh, everyone's having a lot of Canadian bacon. Oh, my God, yuck. Moose spam. Paul Adam, moose spam. How about that? AC Super Sport. Cheese. We got them. Here they are. Spam with bacon. Spam with oven roasted turkey. Black pepper spam. Hot and spicy spam. Hickory smoked spam. Jalapeno spam with cheese. Spam with cheese. Spam light. Spam classic and less sodium spam. Oh my gosh. Is that something else? Spam, 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 spam. I was holding back the quiz to get 35 thumbs ups. I got 36 now. Oh, my goodness. All right, one more quick 10. We're doing the big one after this one. Top 10 cities in California. Here we go. Top 10 cities in California. Here we go with the top 10 cities in California. Oh, my gosh. After spam, spam, spam. My gosh. I have two new cans to try out, Tom Henry saying. <laughs> Robert Brent, Los Angeles, AC Supersport, LA, number one city in California. LA, of course. What's after that? Uh, uh, Gregory, Sacramento, capital. Yep, number six looks like Sacramento. San Francisco, Robert Brent. Yep, San Francisco, number four city. After that, who we got? We got Fresno being guest here. Nope, yes, Fresno. Sorry, right behind Frisco. Fresno, absolutely. Yes, DNS has Sacramento. Um, Paul, add a sperm email. Robert Brandt, Sacramento, we got it. Ed Tolson, San Jose, my birthplace. Yes, sir. San Jose, number three city in uh, California in size. Stockton uh, is uh, being guessed. Stockton is not in the top 10. Surprisingly not. Bakersfield, Donna Mankinnon, you got it. Bakersfield, the number nine largest city in California. Bakersfield, California. AC Supersport, San Andreas. No, uh, Paul has Bakersfield. Cat Rose, San Diego. San Diego, number two city in California. Absolutely. It's LA, San Diego, San Jose, San Francisco, Fresno, Sacramento. Then three more to go. I've got uh, Bakersfield as the number nine. We need three more. San Diego, San Francisco, San Jose. Blaine is thinking, we are looking at San Jose already, aren't we not? San Diego, San Jose. We already have San Jose. Thank you. Bakersfield, Los Angeles, San Fran, Compton, Anaheim, Anaheim, number 10 city, two to go. And let's see what we have. Lake Tahoe, uh, Fresno, uh, Palm Beach, Long Beach. Yes, Long Beach, number seven. I'm looking for number eight, the last one. Anaheim, Fresno, Oakland. There it is. Blaine and Paul have Oakland. Well done, you guys. That did the top 10 of California. It's LA, San Diego, San Jose. San Francisco, Fresno, Sacramento, Long Beach, Oakland, Bakersfield, and Anaheim. Well done. All right. Leaves me one last quiz. And this one, I'm looking for countries. And what I want to know, uh, let's see here. A whole bunch of guesses still kept coming in. We're all done on that. All right. Here we go. What I want to know is um, what countries of the world are the largest buyers of weapons from Russia? Who does Russia sell their weapons to? Who are their biggest customers? I'll leave on a happy note. Uh, fire away with your guesses. Countries of the world that buy Soviet weaponry the most. 
what we got. Um, AC Super Sport Iraq. Iraq is uh, in there. They're uh, they're in the bottom half of the list, but $82 million a year. Iraq. Um, Iran, rich, crazy rich guys travel. Iranians, aren't they buying a whole bunch of stuff? Actually, only $58 uh, million a year. They're not one of the biggest buyers uh, out there. Um, actually, the, low, the last one on this list is Iran. No Canadian trivia. Cool jazz is saying. Debbie Manuel, Iran. We have it. Ed Tolleson, North Korea. What about the North? Koreans, are they buying weaponry from the Soviet Union uh, to kind of, you know, bolster up their defenses? Uh, no, uh, they actually make their own. Uh, North Korea makes a lot of their own, and they are exporters of weapons themselves. How about that? DNS, Iraq, we have it. Robert Grant, Afghanistan. What about Afghanistan? Yep, Afghanistan buys $288 million a year of weaponry from the Soviet Union. Ed Tolleson Jr., what about France? Does France buy weapons from the Russians? No, they're not in this list whatsoever. Uh, DNS has Iran. Uh, Sylvia, what about Spain? Does Spain buy weapons from the Russians? Uh, no, they do not. Not on the list. Iran, we have China. Robert Brandt, the Chinese number two customer, $3 billion a year from the Russians. Number two customer. Bangladesh, Tracy Dunlop. Bangladesh, uh, looking at them. Yeah, third from the bottom, 78 million. Uh, Iran, we have Syria. Uh, Debbie Manuel is thinking about Syria. 1.2 billion a year, and I bet you a lot of it's on credit. Uh, Bangladesh, we have North Korea, we have China, we have uh, who's next here? Uh, Chile, DNS World Travel. Wondering about if Chile is a buyer of Soviet weaponry. Nope, they're not. Uh, Iran, we have Poland. Sylvia is wondering about Poland being so close nearby. Uh, nope, Poland is not a top 20 or so buyer of weaponry from the Soviet Union or from Russia anymore. Isn't that interesting? It's not Poland. Uh, where am I now on this guest here? Sorry, folks, I got to catch up. There I am, there I am. Are they any good? Oh, they got the Kalishnikov and they got missiles. Uh, pretty luck with America. No, no, America buys none of their weaponry. Uh, no, you, uh, UAE and Jordan and the United Arab Emirates, uh, UAE, yep, 320 million a year, but I think they buy more from the States than the Soviets, but they do support the Russians. AC Supersport, Germany, does Germany buy Russian uh, weaponry? No, Germany is not a buyer. Uh, Cuba, Debbie Manuel, think about Cuba, wouldn't they be a buyer? Uh, they are not in the top 25. Iraq, we've done. Uh, Azerbaijan, yeah, number three country, two billion dollars of weaponry. Uh, Doha is a city. Aruba, Brittany Lockwood, think about Aruba. Uh, no, uh, Aruba uh, in the Caribbean, not a big buyer of weaponry. No. Uh, Ed Tolles in Germany, no. Qatar and Jordan, wondering about Qatar. Uh, Qatar, uh, no, they buy American stuff. Um, uh, Brittany Lockwood, the United Kingdom, does the UK buy Russian stuff? No, no, uh, they. They don't like it when the Russians poison people on their soil, let alone buy their stuff. No way. Nigeria. Tracy Dunlop is thinking about Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria is not a buyer of, uh, of uh, weaponry, of Soviet weaponry on this list. Robert, what about the Vatican? Uh, he's desperate. Uh, Sylvia Swan, Turkey, the country of Turkey, um, not in the top 25, believe it or not, not Turkey. Uh, Blaine, Kazakhstan. How about Kazakhstan? Yep, $149 million of uh, weaponry a year. Uh, Bangladesh, we have. Iraq, we have. Klingons, Tom Henry's wondering. China, we've got. Larry Blake, Egypt. Yep, $169 million. They buy more from the U.S., though. Brittany Lockwood, Turkey. No, Ukraine, AC Supersport. The Ukraine, are they buyers of Russian weaponry? I don't think so. Um no, the Ukraine is getting a lot of help from the West these days, and they've got Soviet troops on their soil. So I can't see the Russians selling them bullets to use against their own guys because they're in. The, no, I don't think so. No, not Ukraine. DNS World Travel, Sweden, laugh out loud. No can do. Blaine, Angola. What about Angola? Um, no, Angola, I think it's so broke they can't afford to buy weapons. Cameron, Cameron or Cameroon might be the correct pronunciation and spelling no cameroon no vietnam yep number four 1.9 billion they buy from the soviet the russians Brittany lockwood poland no uh, we've done that already uh, larry blake 
Vietnam, we have a cool jazz. We need some Canadian trivia. I'm saying Robert Brandt, Libya, Libya. I'm looking for Libya. Yes, 78 million, not very much. Algeria, Algeria, another country being guessed here. Nope, Algeria is not on the list. Belarus, uh, Belarus, yes. $267 million worth of weaponry. Tracy Dunlap, Syria, we have. Ukraine, we have. Pakistan. And Jordan's wondering about Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan, only $78 million. Not very much. Uh, Al and Algeria, that would be Algeria. And Algeria, I do not believe, was on the list. No, no, it was not there. Uh, Robert Brandt thinking, who is Russian friendly? Thinking, thinking. Robert Brandt, Washington, D.C. <laughs> Uh, Brittany Lockwood, Uzbekistan. Uz Uzbekistan, not on the list. Uh, India, number one. India, number one weapons buyer from the Russians. $13.6 billion from Russia. They are buying goods. Uh, $13.6 billion. Russia, uh, China is second at $3 billion. India, 13. Big amount. Uh, India also buys U.S. weaponry, uh, but they are supporting the Russians, so the Russians haven't got a beef with those guys. Interesting, isn't it? They buy from both sides. Myanmar, Tracy is thinking about Myanmar, and i um, taking a quick peek here to see. Uh, no, I don't have it. I don't think we already did Myanmar. No, they're not in there. Uh, Egypt, we have. Cuba, we've tried. Afghanistan, we've done. UAE, we've done. Cuba, we've done. Japan is not a buyer. Bulgaria, Bulgaria, not in the top 25. Belarus, we've done it. Azerbaijan, we've done it. Uh, Robert Brandt, soon to change if 2020 goes to hell. Robert Brandt, Cuba has no income. Rukat Rose, wow. Robert Brandt, Venezuela, yep, 1.5 billion a year from Russia. Venezuela has the money to buy weapons. They don't have the money to feed their own people. How about that, folks? Guess who runs Venezuela? Oh, it's a dictator with a military. Surprise. How about that? AC Supersport, the Ukraine, Crazy Rich Guys, India, we have it. Larry Blake, Kazakhstan, we've uh, done it already. Uh, they are $149 million. Ooh, Bekistan, we've tried it. Argentina and Jordan, Argentina. I'm looking here. No, Argentina's not a buyer. Um, Crazy Rich Guys, Vietnam, done already. Crazy Rich Guys, Laos. Laos in Asia. Nope, not Laos. Uh, Crazy Rich Guys, Cambodia. Another guest coming in, Cambodia. Nope, not Cambodia. Um, who is next here? A KGB from Sylvia, Super Sport. Do a top 10 biggest cruise ship trivia. Ta North Korea, Jim Tom, we already done it. A Mexican cartels, crazy rich guy. They're supplied by the CIA. Paul Wilgus, Robert, laughing out loud. Robert Brand, no doubt who's soon, whose son you are, crazy rich guys. AC Superstore, I'm not saying that name. Kenrick, uh, Saudi Arabia. Is Saudi Arabia buying Russian uh, product? No, Saudi Arabians buy American, all the way USA. They sell to America oil and they buy American weapons big time. Robert Brandt, uh, that was Gaia. Uh, Paul Atta, Quebec. Paul Wilgus, uh, smart kid. Robert, Romania. What about Romania, Bruce? Are they buying weaponry from Russia? Uh, nope, they're not on this list. A cool jazz. India needs to spend that money on their folks. Get better railways, better internet, better food. Yeah. Cat Rose, Romania. No, Robert Brandt, Paul Wilgus, they're all... Uh, no, no, they're... <laughs> We all take after their mom, <laughs> Robert, is saying with the twins. Uh, let's see here. Blaine, Morocco. Uh, let's see how you guys are doing here. No. Okay, time to give you hints. The most populated country uh, for Muslims in the world is one of them. Um, one of the poorest countries in Africa. Uh, another very poor country in Africa. Um, uh, most populated country in South America. Um, a, um, a Middle East country next door to Israel, um, and another African country, just to give you a few hints, see if any of these work with you guys. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I'm not sure what we're doing with this country. I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, let's go here. The harder up they are, the more weaponry they're buying. Ethiopia. I know Paul, Robert Brand, she's more political than you. Uh, Blaine, Indonesia. Yep, Indonesia, 645 million a year in weaponry from Russia. Sudan, yep, 431 million a year. They won't feed their people. 
but they'll buy bullets and guns. Absolutely. Brazil, Barb, you are right. Um, $140 million, a small amount. They buy more from other countries. Somalia, Somalia. No, not Somalia. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, uh, let's see here. Bra Brazil, we have Robert Brand, Paul Wilkes. She's from Prague under communism as a girl. A cool jazz. If if they poor, how can they afford it? Exactly. How can they afford it? It's called underworld dealings. Uh, uh, smuggle gold and diamonds out, steal from the poor, buy go weapons and control the poor. That's how it's done. Uh, unbelievable. Egypt, we have Brittany Sudan and Paul Atta Chad. Uh, no. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, one country I have here, they say, is Burma. But that, I believe, is Myanmar. Somebody guessed Myanmar. And I apologize for whoever said that. Myanmar is correct. 520 million. That's a military run country. America and Canada, not very happy with these guys these days. Uh, USA is broke, but look where the money is spent. Brittany Lock with South Sudan. Uh, another country, Uganda in Africa. Poor as can be. Starving people. 310 million a year for bullets and guns from the Russians. Unbelievable. Uh, Turkmenistan, $149 million. Small amount. Mongolia, $106 million. They're stuck between Russia and China. They buy from both. Try to keep everybody happy. Jordan is the country I'm looking for beside Egypt, beside Israel, but only $78 million. I believe the Jordanians buy American and other countries as well. And the last one is Ghana in Africa. It's only $73 million, however. I think they also buy from other countries. Here are the biggest buyers of weapons from the Russians, it would be India, 13.6 billion. China, 3 billion. Azerbaijan, 2 billion. Vietnam, 1.9 billion. Venezuela, 1.5 billion. Not feeding themselves. Uh, Syria, 1.2. Indonesia, 645 million. Burma, which is Myanmar, 520 million. Sudan, UAE, Uganda, Afghanistan, Belarus, Egypt, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Brazil. Mongolia, Iraq, Libya, Pakistan, Jordan, Bangladesh, Ghana, and Iran are the top 25 or so buyers of weapons from the Russians. How about that? Isn't that something? That was our last trivia. We did Russian weapon buyers. We did countries of convenience for ships. We did a bunch of quick tens. We did spam flavors tonight. Oh, my. And we figured out where raspberries are grown the most. Incredible. I hope you enjoyed the show. 37 thumbs ups. I thank you for that. Great show, Bruce. Even if you held us hostage for spam, Paul is saying. Robert Brand, just a little fact. USA spent $15 billion. They sent $15 billion to Haiti when they had a disaster. It's not a U.S. protectorate. The, the, uh, the federal government sent the uh, U.S. Virgin Islands $77 million, and we are... U.S. citizens, go figure. How about that? Uh, but they did it terrifically and wonderfully on an A-plus level. So it shouldn't be a bad problem. Everything should be all right. AZ Supersport telling me I got 38 thumbs up. Tracy, another good trivia as usual, Bruce. Robert Brandt, no thumbs downs. I did see one earlier, but maybe they retracted. How about that? We'll take it. Guys, thank you so much for all your support. Thanks for picking up this stuff. Thanks for sending me donations. Thanks for going to Amazon. Thanks for watching my commercials. Thanks for going to Patreon because occasionally I get a little little donation there. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern for my regular show. Share my videos on Facebook, please, and have a great evening and take it easy. We'll see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock and have fun. Blaine, this is about cruising, not about the White House. You are right, Blaine. It's all about cruising. I agree, and let's try and keep it there. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Thanks for joining me. All you newbies, thanks for coming by too. See you tomorrow at 5 o'clock Eastern. Have fun, everybody. Bye for now.